what's up you guys it's your girl loverly and i am back with another video as you see from the thumbnail and the title in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to install a bloom garland on a ring backdrop i'll put the size of the ring right here because i don't remember so i have to go back on my order to see what size it is but i'll definitely leave it right here but you guys see the title and you see the thumbnail i haven't done a balloon garland tutorial in a very long time but today i'm going to be giving you guys a full in-depth balloon garland tutorial just to show you guys how i put together my balloon garlands i might break this video up in two but you'll definitely know that by the end of this video but without further ado if you aren't subscribed to my channel already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and also leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about this video and what other type of tutorials you'd like to see on my channel but let's just get straight into it i'll leave the details of like the materials and stuff that i use on the screen as i go by but let's just get straight into it so the balloon colors that i'm going to be using today is um turquoise by jamar in the size 12 inch and also 5 inch i mean, i think i also have some 19 inches but i'll go get those later but i'll be using turquoise jamar retro white sand in 12 inches by calisand it's it's literally the same shade as the Semprotex white sand so that's a perfect dupe i'm also going to be using 16 and 11 inch in Qualitex dark blue and these are the same colors but they're just in the container jar so those are the three colors that i'm going to be using and i think i'm going to be finishing it off and i think i'm going to be using silver orbs accent to finish off the balloon garland but i'm going to show you guys how i insulate my balloon garland to get that organic look um especially if you don't have 16 inches for every color there's still ways to make your garlands look you know big and you know fluffy as if you have 16 inches balloons for each colors so i have my handy dandy amazon pump right here a lot of you guys might have the pink one i have the pink one and also this purple one and it works perfectly fine for me i like to use um my hand pump to inflate my five inch balloons or i'll just use the the smaller attachment on the pump to inflate my five inch balloons but i'll show you guys that later on since i have 16 inches for my dark blue i'm going to start with those and normally for my garlands or if this was for a client, I would use I would usually have 16 inches in each colors. But if I can't find 16 inches, then I I will show you guys how I use just the 12 or 11 inch to to give it like the same organic garland effect. So my clusters are made up of eight balloons. If I'm using two sizes, then it will be four 16 inches and four 11 or 12 inches to make my cluster of eight. So now that I have my two sizes, this is my 16 inch and this is my 11 inch. You don't want your balloon to look like this. You don't want your balloon to have a cone shape. So what I normally like to do is press down while I kind of open up the, the mouth here and release some air. Just push down so it gets like a circular shape. So now I have a circular shape and it still didn't take much from the size. And then I'm going to repeat the same process for my 11 inch. So now both of my balloons have a circular shape. And that is the shape that you're looking for for all of your balloons. So I'm going to be repeating the same process to make a cluster of eight to show you guys. Alright guys, so now that I have four pairs of 11 and 16 inch balloons, I'm going to be putting together my cluster of eight. So all I do is just wrap them like a couple times to make sure that it's secured. So that's my cluster of four and then I'm going to add another pair and just wrap it in there a couple times just to make sure that you know your cluster is secured then I have my last pair to make it a cluster of eight 
I'm just gonna be wrapping that in. Don't don't even worry about the position of where at 11 inches or where because we'll sort that out later when we're attaching it for the garland. So here is my cluster of eight, and this is how it looks when we use two sizes. And this is the key to getting big, fluffy balloon garlands. If you have two sizes for all of your colors. But for my other um, colors, I do not have 16 inches. I only have 12 and 11 inches. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to kind of get like the same effect with just one size balloons. I have some white sand already in this jar, so I'm gonna use them up first. So these are, I think these are 12 inches. Callous sand, white sand, retro white sand, 12 inches. But here are my two um, balloons again, and you do not want this cone shape, so I'm gonna be repeating the same process like I did with the dark blue, and like release some air. But because these are the same size, I want one of them to be bigger than the other. So one of them I'm gonna make a little smaller, and then this one, and then the other one I'm gonna keep like at a much bigger size. So here I just released some air, and now it has a circular shape. And this one, I want a little bit smaller than this balloon, so I'm going to release more air out of it. And there I have two different sizes. And just tie them. And then I'm going to repeat that same process to get my um, four pairs of balloons. Alright, so now that I have four pairs of my white sand, I'm going to be making my cluster of eight just like I did for the dark blue balloon. I'm just going to be wrapping it tightly to ensure the security of it, that it don't come apart while I'm putting together my garland. I'm just going to be wrapping that in. And now I have my cluster of eight, and as you can see, all of the balloons are not the same size. Since my Jamar turquoise is only 12 inches, I'm going to be repeating the same steps like I did for my white sand. Alright guys, so now that I'm finished with most of the clusters because I know I'll have to go back in and inflate but I'll just do that off camera to make the video not too long but I have clusters of 8 and I also have a little bit of um, clusters of 4 for each color to use those as fill-in but I'll show you guys how I add those later on. Right now I'm going to be showing you guys how I put together my balloon garlands. I do not use like any 260s or fishing line if I don't have to. I just tie the necks of each cluster together and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. I've done this in other videos to show you guys but I want to show you guys again because it is a balloon garland tutorial. And for the ring, I want to do like a slanted look for the balloon garland. I don't want to do it like half balloon garland or full, you know, circle for this frame. I want to just do a slanted. So from that side, come down to this side. Okay, so let's see if I can show you guys. But I put my balloon garlands by tying the neck. So I call these the necks the neck of the balloons and I just tied this to another neck that's in another cluster so I just find one that's like really stretchy I just use my finger to like navigate and find a, like a really stretchy neck so I find one right here and I'm just gonna feel around in this white sand cluster 
and find another neck. Then I just tie them together. Too bad I can't show you guys like inside of it, but this is how it looks after I tie it. Just tie those two together. And I'm then I'm gonna repeat the same step until I get a full length garland that I want. All right guys, so here I have a garland. This is a full length garland. And I'll just twist the balloons later on after I attach them to the pole. But I'm going to be using some 260 balloons to attach it to the pole. All right, so when I'm attaching my 260s to any surface, I like to um, tie it like this. I like to tie it like this and leave a hoop so I could just, you know, put this around one of my balloons instead of, you know, wrapping it and making a figure eight. I just attach it like this and then put the this little hoop around my balloon to make it easy. And there you have it you guys, but we're not done yet. This is just the base. So I'm gonna be adding more to the turquoise and more to the white sand. And then I'll add some more like dark blue and stuff at the bottom. All right you guys, so sometimes I'll have clusters of four or I'll have, clus or I'll have clusters of six to add to my garlands as fillers. But for this little section right here, I'm gonna add a cluster of six. And all I do is take my 260, wrap it in there, tie it on there. And then either I'll make a hoop and just attach it to a balloon or I'll go in and tie it. But because I want it a little snug onto that cluster, I'm just going to tie it around. So now that I added that cluster, you see that it pushes out a little more. And I can go in and add more cluster to make it wider because since the ring is so, you know, big, you don't want a tiny little skimpy balloon garland on it. And later on, I'm going to be adding the jumbo balloons and finish it off with some orbs, some silver orbs. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit while I go in and add some more cluster to make the balloon garland bigger. Another way how I add my clusters to my garland, I just um, do it the way that I make the garlands. I just grab a stretchy neck and just tie it onto another neck that's inside of it. That is my favorite way of attaching clusters to garlands. And I want my bottom to be big and wide, so I'm gonna be adding another cluster of this. I might just add it around the pole, and then I start adding like another color down there just to make it, you know, bigger and wide. I just like the flow of balloon garlands that's like that. Um, I think it's just one. That's how Jamar sells it. It's one, I think 19 or 24 inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And I do have some jumbo size white sand. I think these are definitely um, the Betalatex ones. They're not Kalisan, they're Betalatex, but they're the same shade when you put them next to each other. And I also have some three footer in Qualitex dark blue.
All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead because I feel like I'm adding way too much balloons, as I was talking about earlier. So I'm kind of done with the bottom, and because I didn't have like a really set design on what I was going for, I just wanted. I just knew that I wanted the garland to be slanted on the ring backdrop. I was just going with the flow or whatever. So I feel like I'm adding way too much balloon. So I'm going to go off camera and inflate my five inch fillers and my silver orbs. And then I'm gonna come back and add those on to finish off the garland. And I also have a happy birthday neon sign that I wanna drop right there, right there on the side to finish off the whole look. But this is how it's looking right now. And then I have a little flow going on at the bottom or whatever. So that is how it's looking right now. I really like it. I wish I had more um, jumbo um, dark blue, but I don't. I thought I did, but I checked the bag and it's just a whole bunch of 16 inches I had in there, which got me so tight. But it is what it is. I'm just gonna work with what I have. So I'm just gonna go off camera, inflate my five inch and my orbs, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I did went ahead off camera and like inflated all of my fillers. So these are five inch fillers and I attached them using 260 cube balloons and all I'm going to be doing is just wrapping it around the balloons to finish it off and I'm using these silver orbs as fillers I got these off Amazon I'll definitely leave the link for them in the description box down below or you can just check out my Amazon storefront I have a whole bunch of um, good orbs that I've used off of Amazon listed in my storefront so I'm just going to be using a couple of these as accents to finish them off because of the color i didn't see the need of using like flowers and stuff like that especially i don't even know what type of theme i'm going with it's not even a theme i'm just going to be attaching a happy birthday sign to it to finish it off this is just for you too but i'm going to be using these to finish it off i'm going to be using these as accents so i'm just going to speed everything up and if you guys would like to know how to attach um fillers to your balloon garland i do have a well laid out detailed video for you guys you can see it up here i'm going to leave the link so you guys can go ahead and check that out to see the different ways you can attach five inch fillers to your balloon garland let's go guys so I just added all of the orb accent to it and now I'm gonna go ahead and add the happy birthday neon sign that I have attaching the sign using fish in line the neon sign comes with these little holes on them and then I just attached a fish in line to it and made it super long Alright you guys, here's the final look of the backdrop with the happy birthday neon sign added. I really wanted the sign closer but it was kind of a struggle doing it by myself and having to use fishing line on this metal frame and kept on slipping so I had to use a little bit of duct tape to try to hold the tape down so it doesn't slip away but I still love it. This is the final look. This is the close up of the neon sign if you'd like to know where I purchased it. I did purchase it on Amazon. The, the direct link for that is in the description box down below or on my Amazon storefront. But this is the full backdrop. Please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and also what you thought about this tutorial. 
if i missed anything you can ask me a question down below in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer it in another video or just answer it directly in the comment section but thank you so much for tuning in to another video of mine i'll try to be more consistent this time around and let me know as well what other type of videos you like to see on my channel go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like how this turned out leave me some comments in the comment section below and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and hit the subscribe button bye